Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite breeder. Well, maybe not everybody's favorite, but Wazatora. She's a 5-4 legendary cat dragon that's flying and trample and either eats or has a baby. They got a sack of dude, so you're... You're killing something. Now, the obvious way to go with this, I didn't go. Because I know a million of y'all are, are going to be building the deck. And I don't want to take anybody's thunder. And y'all all like to do stuff different. The obvious way here is all of the sacrifice effects. The uh, the enchantments and the creatures that say, when I lose a dude, you lose a dude. Or sacrifice. Or the, um, you know, all players sacrifice a creature or two creatures or whatever. And then the Eldrazi that says... Anything that gets sacrificed, you get. And I mean, yeah, it's that deck's going to be built a million times. And it's probably pretty good. Don't know how good this one is. Just finished it. But it's kind of a little unique. So my first thought was I want to kill creatures because for me, it's all about making these cute ass little baby tokens i mean this is adorable okay and to win with this is just what the doctor will anyway so let's kill some creatures um i tried to go with mainly targeted but some of that just uh, i don't know some of it is some of it's not Wing Snare is going to shoot a flower, which is exactly what you need to shoot because, you know, your general flies and you want to get in there and deal combat damage. Now, in a perfect world, you would just be winning with your little cat dragon tokens because, you know, it's cute and fluffy. But long story short, you're probably just going to end up winning with other commander damage since you only get it when it hits. But anyway, we got Putrefy, Terror. Doomblade, Terminate, Cruel Edict, Murder, Wrecking Ball, Tragic Sleep. Yes, the uh, all, all of those rare, I call them the rare murders that hit a creature or a walker. Those are good. Run them if you got them. I don't. Barter, two creatures. I did run the Bituminous Ultimatum. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar why I call this the Bituminous Ultimatum, Jund, the three colors of the deck, was very popular back in the Alara era. And the popular thing to do in Standard at the time was you cast Bituminous Blast and you would cascade into Bloodbraid Elf, which would cascade into Blightning. And... For five mana, you got all these effects, and it was it was pretty ridiculous. But the Petuminous Blast gonna get you something, probably another creature kill spell, but that works too. Beast within, because sometimes more than creatures just need to be dealt with, and I mean it gives them a three three beast, which that's negligible. Um, Lightning Bolt, it's just absolutely universally good. And, I mean, it's so much utility. It's not just for creatures. You can, whatever. I mean, it's Lightning Bolt. <sighs> Dregs of Sorrow. Dregs of Sorrow looks really, really bad. But the one thing that I really like about it is this is a three-color deck, and it only requires one black. That is six mana to destroy one creature and draw one cards, but it gets exponentially better the more mana you have. Obviously, you don't want to be casting this for one or two or three. I mean, you want to throw all the marbles in so that you can board white and draw a new hand. In that instance, it's a decent card. Not good, decent. Then we've got the, um, what I call the weak board wipes, pyroclasm, Sulfurous Blast, Steam Blast. Also, to each player, um, you can, you know, redirect that shit to Planeswalkers. Radiant Flames, Infest, Comet Storm, Culligan's Command, Void, Violent Ultimatum. By the way, Violent Ultimatum, anything that costs seven specific 
mana should win you the game. And like Cruel Ultimatum, a lot of times, Violent Ultimatum just does. You don't realize that's what won you the game until two or three turns later when you're like, oh wow, you know, those three permits I took out. Anyway, Fleshbag Marauder is my only uh, single color creature in the deck, which I count as removal because more times than not, I'm sacking this guy. So, creatures we're pretty low on. I have seven because I, I don't count Fleshbag. We have a Tarka because our general is a dragon. We have the Defiler of Souls. Hence the reason why my colors are, or my creatures are all multicolor. We have Samet, because I'm trying to find a home for this thing. I mean, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I'm really looking forward to building the Samet deck. I think I've started, like, I don't know, 40 other decks, but... Uh, giving your team haste is not bad. Charnel Horde Worm... Now, it's got to deal damage to an opponent. Yeah, it's got Trample. It is 7 mana. But the free regrowth is nice if you get it all. Glissa, because she's just a hardcore G. G is for Glissa, by the way. Um, nobody wants to attack into a Glissa. She can hold off combat indefinitely until they get a removal spell. And she just... Now, she does bring the hate. You know, people will shoot her because first strike and death touch, man. <coughs> Call again there again. Our uh, commander is a dragon. And crash. We are killing a bunch of stuff, so we might as well be getting a benefit out of it. Now, ramp is a big thing. Um, I didn't really... Artifact ramp, I, I I don't have a whole lot. I mean, I, I've got the Soul Ring, the Mana Lift, and the Burnished Heart. That's it for Artifact ramp. But what I do have is Land Fetch. Explores fairly decent in the early turns when you've got two or three lands in your hand. You, uh, I mean, if it's turn, turn two, turn three, this is often like taking an extra turn. Drawing a card laying a land is pretty much all you do in the early turns anyway. So, Hour of Promise, I love because it just says land cards. You can go get duels, you can go get your Maze of Ith or your Urborg or whatever. Underneath the clothes, or beneath the sands, rather. It's an overcost rampant, but it does have cycling, so if you draw it late game and don't need the land. Speaking of rampant. Farseek, Kodama's Reach. Now, I'm doing the Acid Moss because there are lots of Trixie lands out there that need to go. Ranger's Path, Cultivate, Sylvan Scrying. Zurtai Druid don't get enough love, I don't feel, because, I mean, why not? Tap it for mana. Mana Burn don't happen no more. I don't understand why this ain't a gajillion. Well, okay, I do. It's Dragon's Mace, that's why. And Deathrite Shaman rounds out our ramp. Now, the rest of this is just good old-fashioned utility cards. Now, Fire Shrieker is going to give your general double strike, so you can make two babies. Hey, Stronic Resonator is going to copy the wind trigger. Ladinga Staff, because we are killing a lot of dudes. I mean, they might as well be hurting for it, too. Leyline of the Void hoses a whole bunch of decks. Now, we don't really care about a graveyard. I mean, but this even doesn't even worry about yours. It's just your opponents. And there's a, I mean, I've said it many times before. Our graveyards are just extensions of our hands. And when you have as large of a card pool as we have, it's Leyline of the Void is amazing. Here again, I'm double sameting up in this deck because, you know, got to use her somewhere. The only other walker is our newly found out pirate. She's cool and piratey. But, and also kind of removal ish because she's got those uh, assassins. And glaring spotlight's going to get rid of that nasty hexproof junk so that 
we can shoot them with all of our removal. Treasured Find is a regrowth. Turn the colorless into a black and exile it, and you got a regrowth. Back to nature's in here because we don't have a lot of enchantments. I think I have one, and there comes a point in time where you probably need to get rid of it anyway. Uh, back to nature nukes it all. It it how many times have you wanted this from you know like earl decks or whatever and especially if you've got the ley line out you know it kind of gives the finger to Brenna as well but the enchantment we would like to get rid of is you know no profusion because there's no reason okay I'll, I'll admit I don't really it was black and I was like okay it'll fit in the deck I don't have a lot of card draw anyway playing a card drawing a card seems decent it'll probably go for something else I can't sell that. It's Relentless Assault. Oh, FYI, this particular Relentless Assault is the first one I ever had. Um, and you can see it saw a bunch of play outside of a sleeve back when I pulled it. Um, yeah, it's all dented up and, you know, it is legit not worth anything. But, eh, it's, uh, it's my first Relentless Assault. But, you might as well get another attack step so that you can make them more babies. Vandal Blast is... It, it's Vandal Blast. I'm actually getting pretty low on these, so there's going to come a time when I have red decks that don't have Vandal Blast, and I'm going to cry. And our last card is Reforge the Soul, because there again, card draws a little light, and, you know, it works. Well, that is what I have got for Miss Wazatora. Um... Don't know anything about dragon gingers. I'm hoping that that's uh, I would have to imagine that once a fierce foe, she okay, yeah, so it totally says a she anyway. I do appreciate you watching. Y'all let me know what you think, but right now it's time to shuffle and cut.